Hello folks, after a break of about one week after the PUN exam of physics, uh, we are again back. So this is your 2018 uh, May-June paper 2-1 and the question number is 3. It is concerned with uh, uh, collision, I uh, mean elastic and inelastic collisions. So the first is uh, state what is mean by the mass of the body. So I think at this level everybody among you know what mass is. So number B, two blocks, uh, two blocks travel directly towards each other, towards each other uh, along a horizontal frictionless surface, no friction along these surfaces. The blocks collide uh, as illustrated in figure 3.1. Block A has mass 3m and block B has mass m. Before the collision, block A moves to the right uh, with a speed uh, 0 0.40 meter per second and the block B moves to the left with speed 0.25 meter per second the value shown here after collision block A moves to the right with uh, speed of 0.20 meter per second so that means its speed has uh, decreased and block B moves to the right moves to the right with speed V so this speed V is unknown here uh, it is confirmed that it moves to the right but the speed is unknown so number one uh, Use Newton's third law of motion to explain why, during the collision, the change in momentum of block A is equal and opposite to the change in momentum of block B. So we have to apply third law to prove that the change in momentum of the two bodies should be equal. Since uh, we can say it like this, so according to third law of motion, we have got uh, the force applied by A on B is equal to the force applied by B on A and in negative direction. So which means that we have, so force applied by A on B uh, means uh, there is a, a change of momentum of B. So we must have the change in momentum of B is equal to MBVB uh, minus MBUB. So this is the change in momentum of B by this uh, time is equal to, is equal to uh, the change in momentum of A, it should be equal to M A V A minus uh, M A U A whole divided this T, where the time T is equal to uh, T is equal to the time duration of a collision, uh, which is uh, equal for both of them because it can't be different. So T and T cancel, which gives us which gives us so M B V B minus M B U B, which is the change of momentum of uh, uh, body B is equal to M A U A minus M A V A. So this is the change of momentum of body B and this is the change of momentum of body A. So it's given by third law. Now we have to determine the speed V after the collision. So what we, we need to have is since uh, the momentum is conserved in every uh, context uh, independent of the type of uh, collision we must have we must have uh, the momentum of this body before collision it is a 3m into 0 0.40 plus the moment of this thing is equal to uh, so it should be minus here since the direction is opposite minus uh, m into 0 0.25 equal to equal to since it is to the right it's again uh, 3m into 0 0.20 in plus plus since it is to the right again it is m into v so this gives us so i have to uh, take this thing also to uh, this side so 3m into 0 0.40 will be it is 1.2 1.20 m minus 0.25 m minus again it is 0 0.60 m equal to m into v so which gives us m v is equal to is equal to it is uh, so 1 minus 0 0.60 is 0 0.60 this uh, uh, 0 0.6 minus 0 0.25 is it's equal to 0 0.35 then m so m and m cancel which gives us v is equal to 
0.35 meter per second. So it is 0.35 meter per second. So the velocity of the body, uh, a body uh, with mass m after the collision is 0.35 meter per second. Now, so calculate for the blocks, for the blocks, for these blocks, the relative velocity of approach. So first we have to find the relative velocity of approach. So this is equal to ua minus ub actually. So that's equal to ua is 0 0.40 minus ub is then it is minus 0 0.25. So since it is <coughs> negative, we have to use that. And this is equal to, so this minus minus becomes plus, it is 0 0.65 meter per second. So it is 0 0.65 meter per second. The relative velocity of separation is this velocity minus this velocity. So this velocity is, so it is a VB minus VA actually. So this velocity is 0 0.35, which we just got from the calculations. And this thing is 0 0.2020. So it's equal to 0 0.15 meter per second. So it is 0 0.15 meter per second. Now, we have to identify whether the collision is elastic or inelastic. So with these values, with these values, the relative velocity of separation is less than that of approach. So the collision should be, should be inelastic. So what we have is, since, since, VB minus VA is less than UA minus UB. The collision should be inelastic. The collision should be should be inelastic because in elastic collisions they should be equal. If uh, the separation sep uh, speed of separation is less, the collision is definitely inelastic. It means that uh, some energy is uh, uh, lost over there. Uh, it takes some different form than the kinetic energy.